Turungi International School, like the International Baccalaureate Organization, believes that the study of mathematics is an important part of a balanced education. It promotes analytical reasoning and problem-solving skills that contribute to the development of logical, abstract and critical thinking. Mathematics can help make sense of the world and allow circumstances to be described in precise terms. It promotes careful analysis and the search for patterns and relationships, skills necessary for success both inside and outside the classroom. Hello, I'm Mr. Grigore, one of the math teachers here at this. Talking about the MYP math program, it's talking about something that we like and we enjoy to do. When I say we, I'm talking not only about the math teachers, I'm talking about the whole team, teachers together with students. Before I explain what SLOF is, I would like for you to look at this video for a couple of seconds. <laughs> I like the MYP math program because it gives us flexibility of what we teach, how we teach it. It gives us, um, encourages us to include more applications, more hands-on learning. Where is this applied in the real world? How would you use these skills being used? It encourages students to uh, learn how to communicate their ideas uh, and not just do math problem after math problem. How to apply their skills uh, and how to think logically uh, critically in their math work. Okay, so the uh, diameter is 8.5, so the radius would be that divided by 2, 4.5. So that's 4.5. And the height is 11.5. So the MYP Mathematics program is designed to cater for all students within the international school system. The idea being to prepare them for the IB Diploma program in grades 11 and 12. Most of our students will go on into the IB Diploma and so we aim to cover all the objectives set out by the standard level um, MYP program uh, within our classes from grade 6 to 10. Now grade 6 to 8 generally we are able to differentiate the work and the assessment within the class. So homework assignments, for example, contain some problems that we'll set for all students, some problems that we might set for some more challenging problems for uh, the more able students, and so on. Um, in the assessments in particular, there are four sections, and students know quite quickly that if they do the first two or even three sections, they can obtain quite a good passing grade. However, if they wish to get the best grade, they'll have to attempt the more difficult questions in sections. Uh, in section four, uh, this section contains level seven and level eight questions. And the idea here is that um, they will have to figure out for themselves how to apply the mathematics they've done in, to a new situation. In grades nine and ten, it's a little bit different. Um, we actually offer an extra class for those students who for some reason decide that they want to go a bit further with their mathematics. This may be just that they like mathematics. There are some of those students. Um, and also, uh, if they have career aspirations, such as uh, studying physics at university or going into career in engineering, um, in these cases, they might need extra mathematics in order to be prepared for the higher level course in the IB programme. Um, in order to do this, we give them a, some extra tuition. It turns out to be about an hour and a half each week. And they receive extra assignments, um, and the assessments that they do are a little bit harder. Uh, they also do some of the harder questions within the standard level classes, which they still attend. So these students study extra work in all areas of mathematics, arithmetic, algebra, um, 
stats and probability and also trigonometry and geometry. So for example in grade 9 we've just done the sine and cosine rules, uh, we did logarithms earlier in the year. All of these things won't be studied by the standard level students until about grade 11. Every year our school does external examinations so we can validate the assessment of our students' work. And we compare the performance of our students overall against other schools, and we make plans for future improvement. The International Schools Assessment, the ISA, which we conducted in autumn 2020, showed our NYP students doing very well indeed. <laughs> Uh, yes. Uh, MYP math programs give us the possibility to create the content based on the student needs and also to differentiate the uh, content based on the student level. Uh, bringing real life application into classroom makes the students that feel that they are not really doing math, they are talking about math or playing. I hear many times at the end of my lessons, students saying, we play a lot today, and other students saying, yeah, but we learn a lot. And looking at overall, all the lessons that I create here, and the results of the students, I believe that we are in a, in a right direction. Talking about technology in the MYP math program, uh, it's something that we are using every day. A couple of years ago, technology was used from time to time. Today, we are having different tools uh, that we are using in the math class in the benefits of the students. We are having uh, laptops, we are having calculators, we are having uh, clickers, we are having interactive boards. And students love to use technology. Technology is today part of our daily life. When you bring this component into the math class, they feel that they do something that they like. And uh, looking at the results, at overall results, that is telling me that we are moving in the right direction. So you have the white intercept here, which is two. So you start from the middle point and you go up two, one, two, and then you plot the point. Next, you have the slope, which is three x. So you make it a three over one, because it's not a fraction. And then you go up one, two, three over one, and you have the second point. Next, you take a ruler, and then you drag it up to the point. and then you graph the points. Our school, like the International Baccalaureate Organization, believes that, at both the standard and the extended level, it's important that learners acquire mathematical understanding by constructing their own meaning through exploration of their own personal experiences, understandings and knowledge. It's a core feature of the philosophy of the programme that, since it is to be used in real-life situations, mathematics is taught in relevant, realistic contexts. Mathematics is valued not only for its own sake, but also for its usefulness in helping students understand how the world works and providing them with a unique way to communicate. So overall, I think it's a great program for our, our school and I'm happy that starting with next school year, the MYP program will be extended for all grade six up to grade 10. I think it's a very solid base to prepare the students for life and also to go to the DP program. Mathematics is an essential tool for transdisciplinary and interdisciplinary inquiry. It challenges students to be curious, to ask questions, and to explore and interact with the environment physically, socially, and intellectually. So that will give the students the opportunity 
to think about mathematics, to discover mathematics, and at the end of the day, to enjoy doing mathematics.